Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop, version 103, which is the latest stable release, and this started rolling out on the 21st of June 2022. Now, due to the shorter release cycle, once again, there's no major new features, but there are three new options. Um, worth mentioning um, in this latest stable release and as always we get those all important security and bug fixes which we will take a look at near the end of this video now as always at first it's to uh, see if you have the latest version head to your menu help about google chrome and for most the browser will update automatically in the background but if it hasn't this will force and push the update and that latest version now is 103.0.5060.53 which is the latest stable release now, just to take a quick look at those three new options, the first is Google says apparently your websites now in the browser should load a little bit faster because the browser now supports a feature called 103 Early Hints Informational Responses. And by the way, the 103 has got nothing to do with version 103. That's merely and purely a coincidence. Now, Google's technical description of this new feature, and I'm quoting this, they say that HTTP2 introduced the concept of server push, a mechanism that allows a server to preemptively send data to the client. Server push was intended to improve site performance. In the years since, developers have generally preferred preloading from the client side of a web interaction. 103 early hints for navigation provides a new way to do that. Now, that's quite a mouthful, but the long and the short is it's basically code that will allow web pages to preload before you you click the link to that web page which can according to google speed up loading times now so in version 103 you should you should see a slight and notice a slight improvement in the loading times of web pages it's, it's not major but um, you should see a slight improvement and faster loading times for web pages now there's also fewer notification prompts according to google with version 103 and as many of you know um, there are many websites that send notification prompts on a daily basis and now the browser will use machine learning which will allow um, version 103 to automatically block these prompts for you basically once the browser has predicted that you won't want to receive notifications from a certain or particular website and um, in case you are unaware these prompts appear in the top left of the uh, browser and if you want to receive a notification then you would just come and click allow in the drop down fly out menu to allow that um, web page to uh, um, send you notification prompts but if you don't then um, the browser will automatically block these prompts if it predicts that you don't want to receive notifications and that's you as i mentioned using machine learning and then once again in version 103 there are improvements for web apps and the web apps seem to be getting improvements in every version upgrade to the browser and this time they get a new feature called local font access and this means that your pwas your web apps will be able to use uh, the fonts that you have stored locally on your device where at this stage web apps need your permission to import fonts so um, um having access to your fonts on your device now and um, will once again um which google is always pushing and um, will get the pwas any web apps to behave more like native apps on your system and then we get as always we get those um new developer features um which um are, are rolled out for the developers which i don't think your everyday user will uh, basically benefit from but if you are interested um there is one year worth mentioning and that's um avrf file support are now supported in web share so that's the dot avrf extensions and but if you don't know what that is uh, it's a much more efficient format than the jpeg and google basically says that supporting um they are supporting um avrf files now uh, in web share and will further its use uh, in the browser in the future so that's one feature just worth mentioning that is available now for developers avrf files are now supported in web share in the browser now just to take a quick look um, at the uh, bug and security fixes which have rolled out for the stable channel update for desktop um, uh, they say uh, that it contains a number of fixes and improvements and a list of changes um, are available in the log now that's the chromium log and um, google always says yeah that note access to bug details and links may be kept restricted until a majority of users are updated with a fix so um 
that doesn't mean there's no bug fixes. That just means that they don't make a list available of those bug fixes, but they are listed in the Chromium log, which for most is a little bit um, difficult to understand, but there are bug fixes listed in there. So just make sure your browser is up to date if you have experienced any issues. And then of course we get those all important security fixes and yeah, the, uh, uh, the release notes say that this update includes 14 security fixes. And just take note, one of those is critical, which is your highest um, vulnerability, your highest ranked and rated vulnerability. And then we get two high risk vulnerabilities. So even if you're not in interested in new features or improvements, as mentioned in this video, just make sure and double check your browsers up to date to address those 14 security issues. One is critical, two are high risk. And the critical is use after free, which is common. And then the, the high is use after free, which is also uh, once again common. Type confusion in V8, that's the V8 JavaScript engine. So once again, the critical and two high risk vulnerabilities are use after free and V8, the, uh, that type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine, which are common exploits in the Chromium based web browsers. And in case you are interested, the next stable release will roll out in 41 days time. And according to the release schedule, that's on the 2nd of August, which will be Google Chrome version 104. So that's more or less what's new in version 103, which is the latest stable release for desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.